his second team sack. Number 15, Devontae Hicks enters the Falcons.
All right. Well, coming into tonight's matchup, the Falcons come in zero and four. Comets are coming into this matchup one and three. Uh, Comets are the favored to win here this evening. And in the JV matchup, which uh, you guys can tune back in later and catch the replay of if you'd like, uh, the JV Comets were victorious with a uh, 49 to 12 spread. Uh, just ended about 20 minutes ago. Comets starting lineup. We got number three, Joey Spin. Number four, Cade Zider. Number five, Sam Smith. Number 10, Bryce Rudisel. And number 21, Jake Passion. Lots of seniors on this Comet squad this year. Yeah, the uh, starting five for the Cat Comets tonight are all seniors. Pete, this might be my first opportunity to see the Comets play this season. Comets get that opening tip. Joey Spin across midcourt, quickly to Rudisil. Top of the key to Zyder. Down low to Smith, who'll put it in, draw first blood. Great play there by the Comets. And they're gonna start off with some full court pressure. I saw the, the JV Comets ran a lot of pressure and uh, really saw good effect from it. Rudisil, tight, causes a turnover. Spin will put it in for two and draw the foul. Great defense there to get that steal and then get that layup and maybe this next point. I know Joey shoots a lot of free throws in his off time. Can't quite get that one to drop though. Looks like they're gonna get Sam Smith for a foul here going over the top of the Frontier kid. Did you see who it was that fouled? Uh, Joey? No, I, I missed that. So uh, number 10, Hoover, trying to get across the midcourt. Does so with a spin move. He's near side, cross court pass. Back near side to Hoover. Hoover for three, off the rim, and it'll go out of bounds. Just under a minute gone here this evening. Comments up four to nothing. Spin across the timeline, dish off to Rudisil. Rudisil gets fouled there by number 24, Caleb Wagner. Wagner. Well, we know it wasn't him who fouled Joey. <laughs> yep, <laughs> just four more to go. Spin, top of the key, near side dish to Zyder. Zyder baseline, back outside to Spin. Rudisil, top of the key for three, off the mark, and Spin out of nowhere for that rebound. Inside to the paint to Sam Smith. Smith can't quite get it to fall, but he does get his own rebound. Draws the foul on the way back up. Great aggressive rebounding there by the comments to get a couple foul more open looks. Foul on Schroeder, that's his first. Slowly narrowing it down. First shot drops for Smith. 
I actually think it was Chase Harner. We're going to tentatively mark it for him. So I think he was the ball handler who got stripped. Second shot doesn't drop for Sam. Hoover across midcourt. Comet's going to, uh, out of three free throws, they've dropped two of them tonight. We're going to need to pick that up as the night wears on. Hoover, jumper from the elbow, rolls good. Shot that one right over Cade Zyder. And then nearly stripped the pass away from Zyder on the way back down. Top of the key, near side to spin, top of the key to Passion. Down low to Rudisol, kick back out to Zyder. Spin, back over to Zyder. Zyder for three, off the rim. Hoover going down to the baseline. He'll draw the foul. Foul's going to be on Jake Passion, his first, team second. First one, nothing but net. And Hoover brings it back to within a one point game. Spin baseline, kicks it back out to Rudisol. Rudisol dished to Passion. He's going to take that open three in and out. Comets do get that rebound. Spin will drive into the paint, kicks it back out to Zyder. Zyder for three, just a little too much. Surprised Rudisol didn't get called over the back there. Spin will try his turn at a three and he sinks it. Good rebounding and ball movement to get that open look for Joey Spin there. Absolutely. Uh, it's those it's those putbacks, so second opportunities that really define a ball game. I mean, uh, realistically, you can have a really poor shooting percentage, but if you outshoot your opponent three, four, six to one, you can still come out with a victory. It's not the best way to do it, but it is a way to do it. Three pointer there by Chase Harner was off the mark. Rudisol near side to Zyder. Zyder with that head fake. Back to Rudisol. Zyder near side, Rudisol, spin, head fake, drives in, puts it up, no good. Put back by Smith, no good, but he does draw the foul. Foul here was on number 24, Caleb Wagner. That'll be his second. Team four. First one went in and out. Grant White in for the Falcons. Just a little short there on that one. Hoover goes baseline, throws it away. Rudisol goes right. Great ball movement here by the Comets. Spin in the paint, he goes up with it, it's good for two. Nice little floater there by Joey Spin. Comets still with that pressure on, half of the first quarter gone now. Comets with a six point advantage. Schroeder lost control of that. And we'll get a blocking foul called against Sam Smith. That'll be his second. Got uh, Grant Hickel and King Chinlob checking in for the comments. As well as an unnamed number 14 for the Falcons. Hard dish into Schroeder. Comets picked that one off. Yeah, the announcer named off his name, but I couldn't quite hear it through the headset to know what it was. Passion's three-pointer a little off the mark again. Comets have pulled pressure here. Three, 
Down here to Schroeder, near side. Hoover. Hoover swaps off. Fakes that three, dishes to the post to Schroeder. Shot does not fall. And we'll have a foul called here, I believe on number 14, going over the back. Is that a Wyatt something? Wyatt Reedy, number 40, uh, must have changed his number to 14. Ah. Hickle underneath. Pass gets picked off. Spins one to one with Hoover and manages to force that turnover. Looks like that ball may have went off Hoover's knee as he tried to dribble in. Rudisol near side. Back to the center circle to, to spin. We're into the paint underneath the Shane Lob, and he's good for a two. Good reverse layup there. Number 23, A.J. Wilson. Up to White. Across to Hoover. Reedy. Back to White. Near side, Wilson. And picked off by the Comets. And Grant Hickel goes pretty hard to the hole with that. Falcons are gonna call a timeout to talk about it. We'll be back in a few moments. You're watching Cast and Comets Basketball here on RTC TV4. Right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes remain here in the first quarter. Comets now with a double-digit advantage. Put the pressure back on. Hoover to Schroeder. Schroeder trying to can dish it. He about went up and down with that. Dish is near side to White. White makes it across the timeline. Facing off against Spin. Hoover for two. Off the mark. Schroeder's put back. Rattles good. Joey Spin dribbling across. Taking some time to set things up. A far side to Hickel. Big skip pass back here to Spin. Rudisol back up to Zyder. Zyder to spin. Spin will go in. Dish out. Spin at the center ring. Down to the baseline to Shane Law. Back up to Zyder. Zyder for three. In and out. You know, uh, the Falcons 2-3 zone defense there really making the comments work for that outside shot. Well, and that 2-3 zone also collapses very quickly to close down those inside lanes. Um, Hoover, in and out. And uh, Grant White stepping out of bounds on that. Just under a minute left in this quarter, and he'll give it back over to the Comets. No pressure on the inbound once again. Joey really could have taken his time across there. Good time to definitely just hold on to it, wait for the last shot of the quarter. Ooh, dish underneath, no good. But they, wow, talking about picking it up and polishing it. Yeah, bad pass into the paint. Kane Shanelaw picked it up and put the ball into the basket. That, that was 100% snatching victory from a defeat. Good steal there by Joey Spin. And, uh, Number 13, Grant White, getting his uh, hand in on that pass. Tipping it out of bounds. 20 seconds left to play here in the first. Comet still with a 10 point lead. Ball inbounded to Joey Spin. It's going to let that clock run down a little bit. Over to Cade. Far side corner to Shane Lobb. Back to Joey. Cade from the corner. No good. Ball's out of bounds off of Dayton Hoover as he tried to pull that rebound in. Joey Spin meeting the official out of bounds. Floats it into Rudisol, who puts two more on the board. Great inbounds play there by the Comets. Just getting Rudisol to 
fly in there and score that basket. At the end of one, it's Comets 18, Falcons 6. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors here on RTC. Gentlemen, going into the second quarter here, uh, Comets with a 12-point advantage. Still really early, a lot of basketball to play. 24 minutes is a lot of time to go either direction. Frontier's ball to start off, and Comets will put not very much pressure on, pressure on the inbounds. Hoover ended up in double coverage. Quick pop-up by number 23, A.J. Wilson. No good. Comets will get that rebound. Spin to Hickel. Back to spin. Floated over to Passion. Skip pass. Back to spin. Open three. And it's good. Great. Great offense there. That's how you defeat a zone uh, defense by those skip passes and getting open looks. They got to be good, solid cross court passes. I mean, they've got to have some heat to them. Yeah. Schroeder to White. White in that volleyball line. Down here to Reedy. Over to Wilson. Wilson versus Hickel. Back over to Reedy. Got away with a couple extra steps there as he passed that off to Grant White. White in trouble. Gets that passed off to Hoover. Jumper can't get it to fall there. Jumper for A.J. Wilson, no good. You know, Frontier's doing a really good job at getting open looks. They just can't seem to get their shots to fall as Joey Spin hits yet another three. Joey Spin personally owns 13 of the Comets, 24 points right now. Right. 10 second violation there. Good, good pressure by the Comets. No, I think that's the first 10-second violation I've seen all year so far. Yeah, I believe you're right. I've seen a couple of uh, inbound violations. Joey Spin's going to get a break. Bryce Rudis will back in. And then we've got a 30-second timeout called. We'll keep it here. Twenty-four to six with six minutes to go in the first half. Well, in that first quarter, uh, the one. Well, okay. Frontier leads in free throws. Definitely leads in free throw percentage. They also lead in turnovers. Seven to one in the first quarter. The Comets have been playing a really aggressive defense, and I think that's really contributed to most of those Frontier turnovers. Dished off to Grant Hickel. Back outside to Zyder. Over here to Jake Passion. He travels with it. Comets keeping basically the whole team over there to pressure that inbound. Grant White trying to work his way across. Throws it away. At this point, uh, it's starting to look like this Comet squad is living rent-free in the Falcons' heads. Just taking up residence. Bryce Rudisol over to Kate Zyder at the volleyball line. Back here to Rudisol. Rudisol dish off to Passion. Passion jump stop, kicks out to Zyder. Zyder for three, and it's good! Once again, the Comets just Breaking that zone defense. And we got a backcourt violation here as Justin Schroeder catches the pass as he's stepping back into the backcourt. 
Comets look like they're pushing really hard to get to a running clock on the second half. Passion to Hickel. Hickel dishing down to the post. Shane Lobb covered up. Ball goes back outside. Near side to Passion. Back up to Zyder at the top of the key. Zyder kicks out to Hickel on the far side. Cross court pass to Passion. Passion dribbles towards baseline. Kicks it back up top of the key. Head fake. Dish off to Shane Lobb. Great ball movement. Zyder open for the three and it drops. Looks like it almost might roll in and out there. Yeah, physics hasn't been Cade's friend tonight, is it? He, he's had, out of six three-point attempts, four of them rattled around and then it came out. Good Hickel defense. gets his hand on that pass. Not quite quick enough. Swats it out of bounds, though. Joey Spin enters back in for the casting comments. So will Jacob or Chase Harner, Harner for the uh, Falcons. Falcons looking to get that inbound. Into Harner. Harner near side to Wilson. And Passion trying to get a hold of that. Wilson takes advantage of it and just knocks it out of bounds off of him. Looks like almost Passion was thinking that uh, he had it in his hands and then Wilson knocked it out of his hands. But Deep inbound there to Grant White. White will drive in, gets his pocket picked, and we're going to wrap it up. We're calling a foul on this. No, mm -hmm. jump ball. I thought that the ref indicated foul. I was like, wow. Commons will keep possession off that arrow. I think from his view, he, he thought it was a foul. And then uh, the other ref who had the better angle definitely yeah. made the right call there. Yeah, yeah. Jump ball was definitely the right call. All right. Shane Lobb gets a break. Pickle back in. Spin to Hickle. Down to Passion. Passion to spin. Halfway done with the second quarter here. Looks like Frontiers changed to more of a man-to-man -man defense. Might be the right move. Spin, open three, and it's good. Comet's still working that, uh, working for those open looks, and Joey's just on fire so far tonight. Wagner trying to outrun the Comets. He gets stuck, and I think uh, we have a timeout called. Coach Bland got a time timeout called there. Yeah, he was staring down the barrel of another uh, ten second violation, so used up a. Another 30-second timeout. And uh sure he's not happy about it, but he definitely wouldn't have been happy about another turnover. I'm a little surprised that Frontier hasn't started putting any pressure on the inbound underneath their own basket yet. Uh, my only guess is is that they've they've watched some footage and that this Comet squad is either really good this season at breaking a press, or this Falcon squad just isn't quick enough to get back if the press does get broken. Starting off there, Comets lay off the press, but once he, they hit half court, they really went after him. Ooh. Ooh, big swat there as Wilson attempted that shot. Another three point attempt there, and it's good for number 13, Grant White. After that swat, he had a really open look. Nice spin move there by Zyder. Back near side to Joey spin. Rudisol up at the volleyball line to Zyder. Just under three minutes to play in the half. Spin goes baseline, goes up with it, and it drops for him. Now Collins back to the full court press. Spin facing off against Harner. Hands that off to Rudisol. Rudisol gets a hand on that pass and draws the foul. Big foul from behind there by number 23, A.J. Wilson. And 
And that'll be his first team six. Russo at the line for two. In and out on that first one. I have a feeling if uh, Coach Davis is going to have any complaint at the locker room at halftime, it's going to be these free throws. Second one was good. Yeah, so far the Comets have played really well except for their missed free throws. Ooh. Gonna have a foul there on Jake Passion. That'll be his second. Team fourth. Kane Shinlob coming back in. He'll give Passion a break. Ball in to Schroeder. Just over two minutes and a half. Schroeder passing off to Harner. Harner around the top of the arc and dribbles off his own foot. Gets control of it again. Pass over there to Wilson. Wilson, Grant White in the center ring. 152 in the half. White goes up with it, rattles in and out. And Bryce Rudis will knock that one off of uh, A.J. Wilson's foot to give the Comets the ball once again. And another one of those, I'm really surprised Grant Hickle didn't get called over the back on that rebound attempt. Rudis to spin, far side. Spin goes baseline, goes up with it, and it's good. That was a really good play that you saw Joey Spin made that with his left hand. Grant moves it across midcourt to Wilson. Wilson to Schroeder. Schroeder in the paint. Fake, goes up with it, and it drops. Good shot there by Schroeder. You can't do much else on defense against that than just hope he misses. Yep, once he gets you to commit to going up with his fake. Rudisol up to spin, nearly a half court. Spin, collision with Schroeder, pass to Zyder, near side. Pass off to Hickel, Hickel goes into the paint, dish out to spin. I thought he was going with it. Spin to Rudisol, 37 seconds. Here, Coach Davis saying, hold it, hold it. Got 30 seconds to play. Comet's going to look for the last shot at the half here. Up 38 to 11. 20 seconds to go. Well, I'll tell you what, if that defense isn't going to come out, why do anything else? Rudisil over to spin. Spin drives baseline, dish to the top. A wide open look for Rudisil. Goes off the rim. Shane Lobb gets that put back and uh, draws the foul there. Foul there on number 22, Justin foul Schroeder. 22, Justin His second. Shane Lobb goes to the line for two. In and out. Dayton Hoover back in for the Falcons. 2.9 to play after this shot. Just a little too hard there. Full court shot there. It looks like he might have actually made that had he been at least at the free throw line. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Definitely. If he would have had his left to right look good, he just didn't quite have enough oomph on it. Well, at the end of the first half, Comets 38, Falcons 11. We'll be back with some first, first half stats after a few words from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. What does it mean to be a Comet? Being a Comet means that your child has access to a family-friendly school corporation with award-winning academic and athletic programs. 
Your child's journey begins at Caston Elementary, where students are exposed to Project Lead the Way, The Leader in Me, Robotics, Junior Achievement, NHS, as well as organized academic and athletic teams. Being a Comet means that in junior high, students can participate in HNAC athletic teams for boys and girls. Organized academic teams and competitions give students the opportunity to try anything. Extracurricular clubs, such as FFA and Student Council, introduce students to community service projects that continue to strengthen the bond of school and community. As you enter high school, being a Comet means that you can choose a pathway that best fits your post-graduation plans. Hands-on courses through the Career Center, project-based learning, advanced college credit courses, and internships are at the forefront of advancing student achievement and growth. Athletic teams that believe not only in winning championships, but fostering the relationship with student-athletes. Being a Comet means that excelling in academics and athletics is the expectation. Being a Comet is knowing that Cassidy School Corporation is big enough to do great things, but small enough to care. All right. Frontier Falcons to start the second half with possession. And possession arrow. And Joey Spin picking up right where they left off. Three pointer for uh, number 10, Dayton Hoover. Now that's, that's the way that you always want to open a half. Passion up to Zyder. Zyder at the volleyball line to Rudisol. Spin. Spin versus Hoover. Spin backing off. Kicks it over here to Passion. Passion cross court to Zyder. Zyder for three. Just a little short. And Frontier getting that rebound. Grant White passing near side to Hoover. Down to the baseline, Wilson. Back outside to White. Now Wagner back to Hoover. Into the paint to number 23, Wilson. Back outside. Down Schroeder, far side. Hoover. Hoover with a couple fakes. Trying to get open. Can't do it. Passes inside. And we're going to have a foul called on that swat away. They'll be on Jake Passion. That's his third. Team first in the half. Well, now, how does... Somehow the stat board has that as Jake's first foul, and we absolutely know that was his third. Into Schroeder on the near side. Schroeder from the paint, just a little too hard. Comets come down with that rebound. Spin across to Zyder, to Hickel. Back to spin, top of the key to Zyder. Zyder for three, and drains it. Nothing but net right there. Comets not gonna put on their full court pressure anymore, or at least for now. Cross court to Hoover, Hoover for three, answering uh, the, the Comets three. That was a deep three. That one may have been good in college. <laughs> and Coach Davis gonna call a timeout here. The Falcons definitely came out of the locker room energized for this second half. Matter of fact, in the first two minutes of the third quarter here, they've already matched their first quarter score. And beat their second quarter score. Spin across the timeline. Down to the baseline, dishes back out to Rudisol. Rudisol to Smith in the paint. Sam Smith going hard to the basket. You're gonna need more than two guys to stop Sam. Schroeder gets across midcourt into double coverage. Passes down to Yurk. Yurk near side to Wilson. Wilson back to Yurk and Zyder gets involved, swats it out of bounds.
Grant White looking for the inbound into Schroeder. Back to White. Looking for his play. Stays back at the volleyball line. Kicks it off to Hoover on the near side. Hoover with a couple of fakes. Hickel wasn't buying it. Hoover goes up. No good. Great defense there by Hickel. And then Hickel takes it hard to the hole. Great fast break by Spin and Hickel there. Two on one and made him made the, the defender pick somebody and they got it around him and for the basket. Foul there on Bryce Rudis, so that'll be his first team second here in the half. I didn't Shane notice. back in. I didn't notice before they put up this next uh, foul stat that they did change Jake's uh, fouls to three. Oh, they got that fixed. Okay, that's good. So we had some issues the other night at the girls game. Uh, in the JV game, some, some stats were uh, a little slow to be updated and fans were not happy about that. Near side to Wilson. Over to the elbow to Schroeder, who's good for two. And that easily makes the first half of the third quarter the highest scoring quarter for the Falcons tonight. Russo back to spin. Spin to Hickel. Hickel into the paint. And Smith goes up with it, draws the foul. Foul there on number 22, Justin Schroeder. That'll be his third. Team first in the half. Smith at the line. He's had some trouble from the free throw line tonight. Not that time. Second one was short, though. Fight on the ground for the ball there. Comes loose. Joey Spin picks it up. And he'll put it up for three and drain another one. Just stepped up and took the shot and made it once again. Comets now 30-point advantage. Ball in the hand of number four. Jacob Yurick passing it far side to Schroeder. Justin Schroeder looking for his move. Passes back to Yurk, up to Grant White. Grant White down here to A.J. Wilson. Wilson into the paint to Schroeder. Schroeder loses his footing. They're gonna call a foul though. Foul here on number five, Sam Smith. That'll be his third. Pair of Comets now with three fouls each with almost half of the third quarter to go. Not a great place to be, but and this uh, Comets bench is coming in really fresh here tonight. Uh, Coach Davis not having any issue with subs here tonight. Hoover dish into the paint to Wilson who gets swatted by Hickel. That was an absolutely dominant block. Looks like the refs are going to ask for a towel. There must be a little bit of a slick spot on the court there. Grant White looking the inbound. Puts it in to Justin Schroeder. Back to White. White up to the volleyball line to Hoover. Down to the baseline to Schroeder. Goes up with it. Shot no good. Comets get that rebound. And Schroeder drawing his fourth foul. Team second here in the half. Yeah, that's really... Not good for the Falcons. Him no. already having four fouls uh, just early into the third quarter here. Yeah, Schroeder, obviously you see there from that rebound, very dominant out there tonight. 
Couldn't quite make that shot. Hickel for three. Thomas 52, Falcon 19 with 2.45 left to go in the third quarter. Grant Hickel just quietly putting seven points on the boards for the Comets. Schroeder out to uh, Hoover. Hoover for three off the mark. Number 23, A.J. Wilson tried to bounce it off of Jake Passion's back, but it bounces right back, hits him right in the chest, and goes, goes out, out off him. Un unlucky for him. Caleb Stenson enters for the Comets. Stenson versus Hoover. Off to Zyder. Passion, near side to Hickel. Down to the post, no good. And Shane Love couldn't quite get his own put back. Just over two minutes in the quarter. Hoover versus Stenson, spins. Draws the foul and the shot drops. Kind of a mismatch there. Hoover, one of the Falcons' best players against Stinson, who's a starter on the JV. But uh, definitely, definitely a mismatch out there. And Hoover getting three the hard way. Hoover now three for three from the free throw line. Stinson passes off to Zyder. And go into the paint to Kane Chainlob. Gets fouled hard and smacked to the face. Foul there on number 13, Grant White. That'll be his first. Team third here in the half. Shane Law just a little too hard, a little too flat on that shot. Going back to the 90s, that was a problem Shaquille O'Neal had. Just really tall, and so getting enough arc on that ball. Of course, uh, Shaq's, Shaq's just a touch taller yet than Kane. Yeah, just a little bit. Grant White. Pacing off against Joey Spin. Ball over to Hoover. Hoover with the jumper, it's no good. Ready go, gets that rebound. Spin gets the mishandled ball by Hoover. Kicked out to Passion. Spin for three. Oh, a little off the mark. That was Spins first missed three of the game. Yeah. Only his third missed shot of the night. One minute left to play in the quarter. Oh, quickly racks up another miss there for Joey Spin. Falcons getting that rebound. Grant White stops at the key. Gets the ball back after a pass. And Handing it straight off to Bryce Rudisol. Kane Shane Lob. Kane convincing two hand dunk there. Kane Shane Lob went way up and uh, put that one down gently. 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. Comets up by 32. Two. Comets one three pointer away from a running clock. They're going to get a. Technical foul here. I don't think. I don't think they'll count the basket. I think the. Whistle, they're gonna count the basket. They're gonna get a te technical foul on front frontiers number thirteen. I am kind of shocked that they counted the basket because I thought that uh, he blew the whistle before Joey or Bryce shot that. I'm not sure. Whatever happened, happened here in the backcourt. Yeah, him and Cade were in the backcourt and must have said something to Cade that uh, the ref did not like. Joey misses his first free throw there. Ooh. 
shoot. Somebody go knock the lid off of that rim from the free throw line. Yeah, it seems like in this second half, Joey just hasn't been able to get his rhythm back. And then Comets getting possession again off of that technical. Comets up by 34. Spin dishes out. Zyder for three, and it's good. And that will wrap up the third quarter at the end of three. Comets 59, Falcons 22. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we go into the final eight minutes here tonight, Comets are up 59 to 22. That does, of course, mean that we'll be looking at a running clock. Long two-pointer by Shane Lobb off the mark. I, I don't know, maybe I should just call that a pass because that kind of looked like an alley-oop. I'm not sure. The way Shane Love shot that one, it looked like he was definitely going for a basket there. Comments have uh, Talon Zyder and Caleb Stinson in. Hoover, three, was that a three? Was he behind the line? It was. Foul there on number 22, Kane Shane Love. Uh. Not the individual that they really wanted to send to the line tonight. That makes him four for four from the line. And of course, uh, free throws being one instance where the clock will stop. He, he's, he he's, he's automatic finally, from the free yeah, throw line. He doesn't, he doesn't take a lot of time. It's just ball into his hand, quick flick, and up. Just finally calibrated. Hickle into Stenson. Also have number 33, Colton Delosh in for the Falcons. Zyder to Shane Lobb. To Hickle, Hickle in the paint to Shane Lobb. Out to Stenson who puts it up for three and off the mark. Down to the post, back outside. Stinson will travel with it. Evan Howard and Jackson Rensselaer coming in now for the comments. Chase Harner kicks it off to A.J. Wilson. Hoover. Puts it up, it's no good, but he does get fouled. Foul here on number 20, Evan Howard. His first, team six. Once again, not the kid you want to send in the line. The only Falcon to have shot free throws tonight, and he's now seven for seven. Wow, that's uh, very impressive. Especially when there's only 26 points on the board. Yeah. It's almost half, uh, eh, almost a third of their points have come from free throws. Yeah, from his free throws. Yeah, from his free throws. Evan Howard, near side to Kane Chainlob. Chainlob goes to the baseline, off to Rensselaer. Rensselaer nearly gets tied up. Howard to Zyder. Zyder gets the ball tips. And that was a just crazy bit of play there. Ends up out, swatted out of bounds by the Falcons. Jacob, uh, Chase Harner getting a hand on that inbound. And then stripping the ball away. And they're gonna call a foul here on Talon. That'll be his first, team seventh. So they should be sending Chase Harner to the line for one and one. 
And we're gonna, we're gonna see how uh, another member of this Falcon squad shoots, finally. See if he can keep the uh, perfect 100% going. Gets the first one to drop. Wasn't quite as finessed no. as Dayton Hoover's. End of the night though, if the ball goes through the hoop, it's good. Another one. That one looked good. Caleb Stinson now. Pass off to Evan Howard. Howard to Shane Lobb. Over to Talon Zyder on the near side. Zyder stops, passes off to Rensler. Howard, Howard for three. A little too hard on that. And Dayton Hoover will take it coast to coast for two more. Five minutes remaining here in the game. Falcons have brought it back to a 30 point game. Evan Howard top of the key, pass off to Zyder. Zyder for three. Just can't quite get that to drop. Howard gets fouled on the putback. Foul there is on number 33, Colton Delosh. Just a little too hard on that first shot. Goes off the back of the rim. Second shot, nothing but the bottom of that net. Chase Harner, cross midcourt, passes to Delosh, or Deloche. Back to Harner and I believe we had a travel there. And we're gonna off at the foul. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't hear who they said. It's not up on the board yet. With 23. There it is. EJ Wilson. I heard it was a second, but I didn't hear whose it was. Stinson to Zyder. Zyder to Stinson. Back to Evan Howard. Kane Shane Lobb near side. Fakes the pass. Passes off to Zyder. So I say there's there's been a lot of contact that they were letting fly. Hey, and I was right about you were right. I was, clear I, back in the first quarter. I was about to I was about to say that. Uh, we finally figured it out who got the first foul. I was pretty confident. Uh, we could go back. I, d I did call that. You did. I'm very impressed. And Zyder gets that first one to drop. Number 40. Um, you know it's not White Reedy. AJ Turner is what I just heard. He's not even listed on there. Oh yeah, Andrew Turner. Andrew Turner. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, we'll go with and that. And then and then he's listed as Drew Turner on this roster. I have. That's crazy. Ball inbounded to Harner. Harner across the timeline. Pass to Schroeder. Schroeder to Hoover. Bit of a wild pass to Turner. To Delosh. Harner for three, and it's good. The uh, Falcons doing a really good job. They've tripled their first half points already. and Still have a nearly a half a quarter to go. Down to... Jackson Rensler, good for two. Think about every comment on the roster has scored at least the basket now. I believe you're right. Long three-pointer off the mark. Oh, 
Oh, Stinson trying to get fancy with it, gets swatted. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. I, I, I couldn't have called that action in a play-by-play -play if I wanted to. A lot of ball movement on the ground and then in the air. and Comets, Comets come away, away with it. it. Jinx. Howard, near side, into the paint, outside to Shane Lobb. Stinson for three, a little short. And Falcons will knock it out of bounds. Two minutes to play, Comet 66, Falcons 34. Comets with a quick huddle in the paint. Stinson, top of the key. Dribbles into the arc, back out, pass off to Rensselaer on the far side. Back here to Zyder, near side. Zyder goes baseline, doesn't quite have enough oomph on that. He almost got the ball knocked out of his hands by uh, Chase Harner, and then he just kind of stopped and didn't know what to quite do. Yeah, well, and he was staring down the barrel there, Justin Schroeder, who's just a big guy. We're going to get Kane Chainlob there for a defensive foul. That'll be his second. Team eight. That'll send, uh, who we send into the line there? Andrew Turner. All right. In and out. Quite a collision on that rebound. Couple of putbacks there. Looks like the comments might try and just let the clock run out now. It's a good plan. You've got a 30-point advantage. Just keep the ball moving so you don't get timed out on that face guard. Evan Howard in, back out, pass to Talon Zyder. Zyder facing off there against Chase Harner. Passes to Stenson on the far side of the court. Dish back outside to Evan Howard. 22 seconds on the clock. Howard to Shane Lobb at the volleyball line. Back to Zyder. Zyder getting the ball swatted out of his hands. He'll pass that to Evan Howard. Howard to Shane Lobb and then sets a screen. Ooh, man. Ball tossed away right at the buzzer at the end of four. Comet 66. Falcons 36. Uh, we will be back after a few words from our sponsors with a post-game wrap-up and um, should have Coach Carl Davis coming up to talk with us. This has been Comets Basketball on RTC TV. Four.